Wind chimes. Silent wooden wind chimes. You ready, Sally? Grimoire, I've been standing here for seven and a half minutes. Just checking. You have the map? Uh, yeah, but it's... Did you read the case file? What do you think? I'm not sure yet. It's did really... you read it? Yeah, I'll read it on the way to the crime scene. It's a guard, I think. It's currently uh, We could walk. Ready when you are. It's a guard, I think. Uh, it's we... ready when you are. I tied the bow. I'm loving the confidence. It's the little boat we used to cross the lake. It's the only way on or... What a comforting thought. It's a garden. I think. Uh, Ready when you are. It's a statue of some hideous, scaly, bipedal fish monster. Playing a harp. Playing a harp. Hang on a second. This isn't just a Something ri- tells me we're not going to solve this just yet. Let's come back later. It must do something. You'd hope so, wouldn't you? Spooky. What do you think it's for? I think it's to scare away detectives. Is it working? No. It's a stone carving. 
Wonder how it got cracked. I think it's supposed to look like that. It's an egg. And it's full of the same weird water that was in the lake. Any fish in there? Not a single one. Although there is something in there. It's a cassette tape. Or it used to be. supposed to say too quiet it's not it's an appropriate amount of quiet what animal is that hawk bear lizard right of course a hawk bear lizard There's an O on the floor. Oh, yeah. Tangle. Tour. Tour. Is that an envelope? It's been opened, but the letter's still in there. Let's read it. Isn't that an invasion of someone's privacy? Oh, definitely. I think he'll start to move if we try to go inside. No, I think he'll just silently judge us. Ah, there's a heart engraved in the tree. I didn't know people actually did that. PPFF. Oh. What? Oh, there's an oh. Yeah, tangle. Twer. Should we ring the doorbell? Why would we not? It's a little melody. Don't think it's locked. Oh, that means we can just walk straight I'm in. pretty sure that's the rule, yeah. Let's head to the crime scene first. It's at the top of the West Tower, I think. What is that? I think it's a family tree. Stone. Do you think she still lives here? We get to investigate a murder in a spooky... It's not that spooky, really. Don't ruin this. The whole 
whole room has a strange feeling about it. Yeah, there might be a reason for that. Let's take a look at that painting first. There it is. The unfinished portrait of Flora Fellow. So, what? Freya was killed halfway through painting it? Looks that way. I wonder if all of Freya's paintings are this creepy. Maybe it's just because she never got to finish it. There's something wrong with the crime scene. And something really weird about the murder weapon. We didn't find a murder weapon. is holding a knife tipped with blood, but it was removed from the scene. Now... is holding a knife tipped with blood, but it was removed from the scene. Almost. Maybe just change one thing. holding a knife tipped with blood because it stabbed Freya. What? Weird, huh? You think Freya was stabbed by a painting? Not by the woman from the painting, but by the painting? Mm -hmm. Freya was standing right up by the canvas when she was killed. There's blood on the knife. It's the murder weapon. Right, but it's not actually a knife. It can't stab. See any other knives around here? Case closed. The case is not closed. And even if you were right, where does that leave us? A painting can't be a murder suspect. Is that a gramophone? I think so. Except it's got a tape deck instead of a turntable. It's also got a big crack down the middle. What about the cassette tape? It 
sure is. I think. Do you think it still works? The gramophone? Eh, we could give it a go. Supposedly, Freya was working on the paint. Looks like she was still holding her paintbrush and palette. Didn't even get a chance to clean her brush. Is that an egg? An egg with bird feet. It's also covered in gemstones. What a completely ordinary object. I think it's a container for something. Those gems look like they come off. Nope. Did you check the clue on the back? I'm pretty sure it explains where to put each of the gemstones.
Oh, that was it. Nice work. Did it unlock? What's in there? Nothing. Nothing? Well, empty egg is a clue, right? Of sorts. Hey, look at that. It's a model of Tangle Tower. There's a lake and those weird... What are you thinking? That would make an amazing souvenir. Curious. I would expect bacteria of that nature to thrive in these conditions. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Taking all the environmental factors into account, there must be something I am still missing. Uh, may I talk to you, miss? She knows we're here. She just doesn't care. I am a detective, and I need to talk- Correction. You do not need to talk to me. Oh no? How come? Because I am not a suspect. I am completely innocent of any and all crimes. Thanks for letting me know. Speaking of which, you have now been at Tangle Tower for over 23 minutes. Surely you have already reached a sturdy hypothesis. A hypothesis? About the murder? Yeah, come on, Grimoire, hurry up. My apologies. Unfortunately, protocol dictates I must at least meet all the suspects. And that includes you. So, uh, could you tell me your name? Fifi Fellow. Microbiologist, inventor, innovator. You will need to be more specific. One's self cannot be summarized in a single response without doing one a great disservice. So true. Well, first of all, you're a fellow. So does that make you the daughter of- Correct. My father and mother are named Flora and Felix. But you need not question either of them. It will only waste valuable time. Neither of them are capable of murder. Thanks for the tip. Fifi, you said you were a micro... something or other? Microbiologist. But it is an insignificant label. My studies cannot be categorized in any one recognized field. What made you want to become a scientist in the first place? I harbor an intrinsic fascination with the microscopic. I constructed my first one at age 10. Constructed... a microscope? Correct. And what's that thing on your head? Did you make that too? My eyesight began to deteriorate when I turned 12. Not satisfied with the eyeglasses prescribed to me, I designed this custom lens instead. It automatically adjusts based on the surrounding light conditions. Does it glow red when you get angry? No. But that would be most amusing.
What can you tell me about the murder? What can you tell me about... Wait, that's what I'm supposed to ask you. Yes, however, you were too slow. You fancy yourself a detective too, Fifi. I just need to know what happened. Me too, so talk. Fine. I knew ahead of time that Freya was going to be busy with her painting all day, so I had planned to spend the afternoon with Poppy. I was in the library all morning preparing the equipment for an experiment, only to find out that Poppy had made other plans and she was in fact planning to ignore me completely. Oh. So what did you do instead? I locked myself in my room and cried. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Why? I don't know, it just sounds kind of sad. It is not unusual. Oh. Good. What can you tell me about the murder? What can you tell me about- Wait, that's what I'm supposed to ask you. Yes, however, you were too slow. You fancy yourself a detective too, Fifi. I just need to know what happened. Me too, so talk. Fine. I knew ahead of time that Freya was going- So I had planned to spend the- I was in the- oh. find out. So what did you do instead? I locked myself in my room and cried. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Why? I don't know, it just sounds kind it is of... Not oh. I was in my room. The lights were off and the door was locked. Someone began banging on the door. I ignored it. Until the someone began shouting at me. I opened the door. Poppy came into my room. Her makeup was leaking. She told me Freya was dead. I did not believe it. I thought she was playing a trick on me, so I punched her in the face. She insisted that we go up to Flora's tower. We left the room, and Poppy's father was waiting outside. He followed us upstairs. When I saw Freya lying on the floor, I was completely and utterly devastated. Then, I took a sample of the red paint on the unfinished painting. Poppy and I took the sample back downstairs to the library. We performed a test and found out that it was, in fact, blood. You performed that scientific test immediately, even though you were feeling so upset? Of course. Why would one affect the other? I was in my room. The lights were off and the door was locked. Fifi's bedroom should be unlocked now. Can't wait. Fifi's got something pinned up here. What is all this? That's you, Sally. What? I do not look like that, do I? Who's that? Not sure. Did you notice who isn't on here? Freya? Mm-hmm. And Fifi What's that big book on the desk? Looks like something Fifi's been writing. Is it a clue? 
I hope not. It's just a bunch of notes about her microbiology experiments. What's that big book on the desk? Looks like something Fifi's been... Clue? I hope. It's just a bunch of notes about her mic. A pretty ornate window. We're supposed to be looking for clues, not assessing them. And over here, you'll see the owner's used sheets of paper. A simple trick, but it really transforms the space. It's a fish, I think? I think it looks more like a whale. Fine, it's a whale. Could also be a shark. And it's a little wooden box for paintbrushes. To the casual observer, maybe. They're not real paintbrushes. Looks like they're part of some kind of lock mechanism. Nothing. Did you find a hint on those scraps of paper? It looks like a ripped up jigsaw puzzle. Incorrect. Each brush has various characteristics. Height, bristle shape. The information we need is on the paper. Once it's been...
still locked. So, the paper jigsaw puzzle, there's sure. a couple of brushes with each characteristic, but only one. Locked. So there's a couple of brushes with each. Still locked. So, there's a couple of brushes with each characteristic, but only one perfect solution. Still locked. So, there's a couple of brushes with each
that's done it. Neat. What was in the box? Just a photograph. Well, most of a photograph. It looks like a microscope, a big one. Can I touch it? Uh, I'm not sure this is a microscope.
That's the one. Hey, not bad. Sounds like it unlocked. Yeah, it's built on top of a little metal box. There's a book in here. Sir? Can you hear me? I'm Private Detective Grimoire. I have some questions for you. Grimoire. Good mysterious name. <laughs> I'd rather like it. Felix Fellow at your beck and call. And, uh, this is my colleague, Sally. Yeah, that's a perfectly good name as well. Thanks. If you would, Mr. Fellow, we really need to ask you about the murder. I must say, I'm rather jealous of you two. Oh, yeah? Why is that? Out here solving mysteries, <laughs> exploring new places, uncovering secret rooms, hidden treasures. That's what life is all about. Secret rooms? Uh, generally speaking, you know, that sort of thing. So, Felix, what exactly do you... Uh, do? Is it not obvious? I'm an explorer! Explorer slash treasure hunter! Yes, well, best in the world! We're talking like... curse statues. Spike pits. Uh, it's a little more sophisticated than that. But I've certainly seen my share of danger, if that's what you're asking. And, uh, if I may ask, uh, when did you retire? Uh, you listen here. <laughs> I may be between ventures right now, but it's simply not in my nature to stay in one place for too long. I go wherever the winds of destiny take me. Don't you live here with your wife and daughter? Yes, well, the fellow family has certain loyalties. And with uh, Flora the way she is... Uh, Nothing wrong with raising a family, Mr. Fellow. <clears throat> Don't misunderstand me. Fiona and Flora are my entire world. They are the greatest treasure of all. Uh-huh. Why on earth would you want to know about that? The murder of Freya Fellow. The reason we're here? Ah, oh, right. Uh, nasty business. Uh, uh, very unfortunate. <clears throat> I, I regret that I can't be of any help, uh, but I wish you all the best in your investigation. Hear that, Grimoire? We're done here. Let's go. It's a simple question, Felix. Well, I'm sure you're up to it. I just... It's... Well, there's not much to tell. Uh, mostly, I was in my room by myself, uh, working on Flora's... Uh, working uh, on a project. <laughs> Your room is quite close to Flora's tower. You didn't hear anything unusual? What qualifies as unusual? What have you got? It was dusk. A feeling lingered in the air. 
Malevolent? Perhaps. Uncertain <laughs> as life itself. Abridged version, please. Right. Fine. I heard someone heading down the stairs, just outside my room. The footsteps were calm, orderly, so I thought nothing of it. Shortly afterward, I heard a second set of footsteps going the same way. This time I could tell just from the sound that something was wrong. So I looked out into the hallway. I got a glimpse of Poppy disappearing down the staircase to the floor below. I didn't know what to make of it, to be honest. I thought perhaps she'd had a disagreement with Fitz, as I know those two are close. So I looked into his room, just in case, but it was empty, as was the garden beyond his window. Back in the hallway, I bumped into a very concerned-looking Penelope. She was heading up Fellow Tower to find Professor Pointer, so I escorted her. We went into Flora's room. Poor Freya was laying on the floor. Fiona, Poppy, Pitts, and Pointer were there already. Flora, too, of course. <laughs> Soon enough, everyone else made their excuses and left. Including you? Not I. <laughs> I stayed. Flora needed me. hand-painted statue. How can you tell it's hand-painted? Well, the paints are right there on the desk. Also, I mean, no offense, but you can just tell. Nice. How do you know there's treasure in there? Why else would it be locked? Plus, there's a treasure map hanging directly above it. What's the deal with that painting on the front? Not sure. We should check that treasure map, too.
I did it. What do I win? Not bad. What was in the box? More wooden models. These are a little different to the one on the desk. locked. Listen, do you hear them? The stars, they're whispering. So quiet, and yet so loud. What are they whispering about? Are they spreading rumors about us? I shouldn't think they concern themselves with such insignificance. We are but specks of dust, you and I. Mm-hmm. Could the speck of dust start by telling me his name? You find yourself standing in the astronomy tower of one Professor Percival Pointer. Hmm. Seems like this tower belongs to the Pointers, and the other one belongs to the Fellows. Well observed, my dear. Tangle Tower is something of a duality, as it happens. Uh, meaningless boundaries, really. They exist only in our minds. Helpful.
Not much to say. Strictly speaking, I'm the current head of the Pointer family. And, of course, father to my precious poppy. And? A professional astronomer? Oh, no, that's just a little hobby. I mean, yes, I've studied the stars for over 35 years, published 17 books. Just a little hobby. Sounds like you're quite well known. You must bring in a good amount of money. Oh, dear me, no. 
My field of research has never yielded any kind of stable financial return. Nor would I expect it to. I am nothing but a humble interpreter for the cosmos, working to translate its message so that I may share it with the world. Cool. Tell the cosmos I say hi. The day began as any other, with blissful, unremarkable routine. I took my usual morning walk around the gardens. Fresh air does wonders for the mind. Did you see anyone else? Penelope and Fitz were in the greenhouse together. I didn't bother them, of course. I sat for a while besides the pond in the garden. It's a favorite spot of mine. Eventually, I returned to my tower and buried myself in my studies for the afternoon. Did you use your telescope yesterday? Once the stars began to appear, naturally. For how long? I can't say. I've been known to lose hours at my telescope. Did you see anything? No actual discoveries, if that's what you mean. So you were all alone up in the astronomy tower. Must have been a while before you found out what had happened to Freya. Quite. Normally, I would be the last to find out about such a thing. But a curious tug of fate led me towards the fellow tower later that evening. I was at my telescope for the majority of the evening, but at one point I returned to my desk to look something up in a reference book. I couldn't find the book I wanted, so I figured Fiona must have borrowed it. I left my tower and headed down towards the Grand Hall. I spotted Detective Hawkshaw coming out of the library. She looked impatient and slightly frustrated. Same as ever, then? Quite. I passed her by and went upstairs to Fiona's room. The door was locked, but I could hear shouting coming from inside. I recognized Fiona's voice as well as the voice of my own daughter. I had no desire to invade their privacy by eavesdropping, so I waited for them to finish and come out into the hall. Before I could ask about the book, Poppy grabbed my hand and took me upstairs along with Fiona. It was apparent that both of them had already been crying about something. We went up to Flora's tower. Freya was laying on her back right in the middle of the room. Flora and Fitz were already there. They both looked stoic as ever. Felix and Penny arrived shortly after we did, and then Fiona went downstairs with Poppy for some reason. I quickly decided that I should leave also. I took Penelope with me, and we both went back to our rooms in Pointer Tower. Why did you leave so quickly? Wasn't there anything you could have done to help? Don't take this the wrong way, but the whole ordeal is fellow family business. 
I I'm quite sure they don't need me getting in the way at a time like that. Solar? I would look at it. look at it. Wait a minute. Earth in the middle. Sun on the outside. How old is this thing? That's the one. Hey, not bad. Did you hear that? There's a little hatch underneath. A bunch of paper. Looks like somebody's research. Are you a ghost? Sally! That's rude! Unless she is a ghost. It may come as a disappointment, but I am alive. Ah. Uh, that makes you a suspect, I'm afraid. I know. What's your name? 
My name is Poppy. I'm a pointer. And a pianist. We'll need to ask you a few questions about Freya. I know. Hey, you're pretty good. All in the wrist. And 13 years of dedicated practice. I'm just me. There's nothing to know. How are you related to the other pointers? My father is Percival Pointer. The professor spends most of his time hidden away in his tower. Barely speaks to anyone these days. Especially not the fellows. Do you get on with the fellows? Two of them. Fifi and Freya are my closest friends. We all turned 19 last year. Do people ever leave Tango Tower? I don't mean to be rude. It's just, if you're 19... You don't have to answer that, Poppy. It's a fair question. I'd like to move away. Definitely. Fifi, Freya, and I would often talk about it. Argue about it. Freya wanted to leave, but Fifi... Things are more complicated for her. What about now? After what happened, I really don't want to stay here much longer. Three and a half hours of piano practice, soon as I wake up. Same as always. Three and a half? Does that not hurt your hands? Sure. And you do this in the music room? No, I prefer to practice in my room. When I make mistakes, I like to make them in private. What did you do after that? I was supposed to meet Fifi in the library, but I totally forgot. When I finally got down there, she'd already gone. I checked her bedroom, but it was locked. Was Fifi not in there? No idea. She keeps her door locked either way. So I went back upstairs and out into the moonlight garden. The what? The little garden on the roof outside my room. Was it just you up there? No. Fitz came outside after a while. His room's on the other side. He's been teaching me about flowers. So, did you talk to him? Not really. You ignored each other? I didn't say that. Fitz and I were up in the moonlight garden most of the afternoon. Then we heard this sound. It lasted about three seconds. I've been trying to decide how to describe it, but I'm struggling. It was like something drilling into a piece of metal, but different. Worse. I was pretty sure it was coming from Flora's tower, so we went up there to check. Her door was locked. Nobody was answering. I knew Freya and Flora were both supposed to be in there, so I made Fitz kick down the door. I went inside. Freya was lying on the floor. Flora was in the room too? Yeah. I think she realized what had happened at the same moment I did. I didn't know what to do, so I ran downstairs to get Fifi. Her door was still locked, but I knocked and shouted at her. Eventually she let me in. The lights were off, but I could see she'd already been crying. I told her what had happened. She didn't believe me. She got angry. First time I've ever seen her angry. I dragged her out into the hall. My father was there too, for some reason. The three of us went back up to Flora's tower. Then Felix arrived. He had Penny with him. Fifi had this idea. 
She wanted to do some kind of scientific test. She took me down to the library. We were in there about 15 minutes. After that's All right. Poppy's bedroom is unlocked. I wonder what's in there. Chalkboard. Is this a library or a classroom? Any idea what this means? Not a clue. I'm not sure I learned anything from that. It's an illustrated book about birds. And it's been left open. Looks like somebody was halfway. Or it was left open for us. Ever so slightly unnerving. Painting. It's really Why simple. would you want it looming over your bed like Maybe that? Frey enjoyed the atmosphere it creates. The atmosphere of chaos and... Hang on. There is a smaller version down by the floor. It's a photograph. Drawings. Taped up What's on the What's that one on the left? It looks like two people standing together. One of them's holding a red rose. Oh, nice cape. You're not fellows or pointers. I'm sure I shall immediately regret asking. But who are you, and what is your business here? I'm Sally, and this is my sidekick, Grimoire. A private detective, Grimoire. Really? You're a detective? If this is a joke, it's not a good one. <clears throat> who are you, anyway? Private Detective Hawkshaw. Oh, nice. Hawkshaw's a cooler name than Grimoire. Maybe I'll become her sidekick. You're not on the Freya Fellow case, too, are you? 
That is classified information between myself and my client. Clearly, this is something which eludes you. But a real detective refrains from handing out information to persons unknown. Oh. Right. Now, if you would, I have work to do. It's not in my interest to discuss personal details. Even if you're one of the suspects in a murder? <sighs> Very well. Let us make a small exception. Ask. Oh, what are you doing here? I'm on a case at the behest of my client. How long have you been at Tangle Tower? 133 hours. Uh, five and a half days. Who are you working for? I am not at liberty to answer that. Now, I shall permit you one more question. What crime are you- How'd you get that scar? It's cool. You really think so? As it happens, I completed an examination of Flora's room on the morning before the murder. I've been investigating every single room at Tangle Tower. Hers was one of the last on my list. Did you find anything unusual? Nothing but a thin layer of dust and an atmosphere of somber melancholy. Was Flora in there at the time? She spent the duration of my search staring up at the sky, out the open window. Didn't say a word, although I'm told this is the expected behavior. What did you do after that? I spent the early evening searching the library. It took longer than it should have. Fiona leaves that room in a permanent state of disarray. Fiona was in the library too? I expected her to make an appearance, but she did not. And you stayed in the library the rest of the day? Not quite. Sounds of running, wailing, shouting from several floors above. I vacated the library, but before I could begin my ascent, Professor Pointer appeared. He emerged from the Pointer staircase, crossed the hall, and begun up the fellow staircase. Our eyes met. He was breathless. Something had caused him great alarm. He told me to stay out of the way. I consented. I decided to return to my office in the Stone Square. As I was passing through the front door, Penelope called out from behind me. She was clutching the banister of the Pointer staircase with an apprehensive manner. She wished to know where Professor Pointer had gone. I told her what had transpired. Then, she too crossed the hall and disappeared up the fellow staircase. More so than at any moment prior, I felt like quite an intruder in the house. I took my leave out towards the stone square. The grounds were silent. There were no signs of human life. Even the greenhouse was without its typical inhabitant. I noted that he, too, must be entangled in whatever was transpiring in Fellow Tower. An unremarkable hour passed before the gardener finally made his appearance. He spoke to me of what had occurred. His report was as clumsy and cumbersome as the man giving it. Did he seem upset? He was rattled. That much was clear, but sorrowful. Mournful, I cannot say. Is that a clock? If it is, it's a clock with four. I'm guessing it doesn't tell the time. So what does it do?
No, that was it. Nice work. What's in the box? A little tool thing? Looks like a telescope, but I'm not actually sure what it is. Part of, uh, actually, I have no idea what it's about. Kind of reminds me of a periodic table. What do you make of it? Not a whole lot. Sally, don't move. We're being watched. Yeah, I see him. He's a little too big to hide in the bushes. Is anyone going to say anything? Or shall we just stand around staring at each other? Right. Sorry. Sorry. That's better. I'm Sally. And the guy hiding behind me is Detective Grimoire. Who are you? Fitz Fellow. The gardener. Mm-hmm. And why are you so tall? I don't know. You work here. As the gardener. I don't get paid to do it. It's just my area of interest. What's the deal with the plants? They're all kind of weird. Right. Did you see the lake? That giant green and purple lake surrounding the entire house? Yeah, I clocked it. The color is just a byproduct. Of what? Poison? It's not poisonous. Not to you. Uh, what's this got to do with the plants? The water controls all life, just like anywhere else on the planet. Clouds form, rain falls, the water grows the plants, animals eat the plants. Anything you've perceived as an irregularity is simply a result of this hydrological cycle. Could you say that again, but like, condense it, as if you were talking to a slightly stupid person? Our lake water causes the unpredictable alteration of DNA, sometimes. Alteration? Like mutation? That'd be the official term. For us, it's normal. Just nature. And you're the local expert on all this stuff? No. I'm just the gardener. was in my greenhouse, watering and weeding. Sounds exciting. Was anyone else around? Not at first. Penelope came in a little later. She likes looking at the flowers, I think. 
Did you speak to each other? A little, not too much. We both left the greenhouse in the early afternoon. I went up to my room. Then I came back outside to weed the main gardens. Didn't see anyone else. After that, I went up to the garden outside my room. And? Let me guess. Watering and weeding. Right. Did anything happen to you yesterday, Fitz? I was in my greenhouse, watering and weeding. I was up in the rooftop garden. It was quiet. And then... It wasn't. I can't describe it. Could have been a scream, but it didn't sound human. We thought it was coming from Flora's tower, so we went up there. We? Poppy was with me. Did I not mention that? Flora's room was locked. That's normal. She usually locks it from the inside. I knocked on the door and shouted. Nobody responded. We became concerned. You kicked the door down? I did. Poppy and I went in. Freya was right there, laying on her back. Flora was there too, but I barely noticed her at first. Poppy left the room for a while. When she came back, she had her father with her, and Fifi too. Penelope arrived shortly after that, with Felix in tow. I thought that was odd. You don't normally see the two of them together. Felix took charge. There was nothing else I could do to help. I wanted to go back to my room, but I realized nobody had told Detective Hawkshaw anything. I found her pacing back and forth around the stone square. When I approached her, she snapped at me. I think she was annoyed about being made to wait outside so long. But when I told her about Freya, she fell silent. Fitz's room is unlocked. It's up in the fellow tower. This could be interesting. <laughs> 